Good morning everyone. Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to a brand new video. It is five o'clock in the morning which is why I sound like this and I'm whispering. For today's video we're doing a day in the life, what we eat, what we get up to type video. <coughs> I'm not used to speaking out loud this early in the morning, Jesus, that's what I sound like. I'm just making my coffee and I'm gonna head to the gym but you're gonna come along with me today and Matt's also gonna take you along on his day. Just getting ready for gym, making a coffee. I like to take a coffee with me on the go and I'm gonna have some biscuits. I'm gonna quickly get ready and then let's go to the gym. I don't fancy anything too big this morning, but I'm just gonna grab a few biscuits, just the Biscoff filled ones just to have something before I go to the gym. That's about it. So let's go. See you later. Love you. He's so sleepy. <laughs> Good morning guys, um, it is about 6 o'clock, just before 6, um, my day is just about to begin. Uh, I'm off to the gym before work, Emma is already gone, she leaves way earlier than me believe it or not. Um, so yeah, off to the gym. I normally start my day here of course with the most essentials, which is a good cup of coffee. So what I normally do on the way to the gym, I'll eat a couple of biscuits or something like this this morning we've gone for like a little penguin it seems to work for me to have something to eat before the gym and obviously it's really important uh, for me to keep my sugar levels up um, especially when i'm in the gym and you start like lifting weights or doing cardio your sugars are always going to start dropping slightly um and i try and start them at a really good level so it's good to have something just to sort of uh, for like a little pre work out just to stabilize the sugar levels so yeah let's do it okay down at the gym it's now 6 40 so that was a little bit longer than i would usually spend in there but um i'm trying to make just be a lot better and make a conscious effort to stretch before warm up before and also cool down because sometimes I do rush a little bit to get in and out. Still got my coffee. On the uh, colder side of <laughs> hot, not quite hot anymore, but I'm gonna head home now. So I'm not sure if I said, but it's Valentine's today and um, obviously I think it's lovely, but we don't really make a huge deal out of Valentine's Day. We, we never really have, like we like to, you know, get a card for each other. Um, bless Matt, he is so sweet. He always sort of gets me a rose or like some flowers. But what we are doing is we're gonna have a takeaway, a sushi takeaway. Um, sushi has kind of like become our, over the years, become our sort of like date night, like big occasion meal. Like actually one time we did go out for Valentine's Day, but we, it wasn't just a meal out. We went to do a sushi making course with Yo Sushi and it was so good. Not only did we leave with like four trays each of sushi, it was just so fun to actually do something and like you're, you know, in a, in a class with other people. Yeah, so we're just gonna order a sushi takeaway from a local place, which will be nice. I just have a chilled night in, watch a movie or just watch something. We did a video like this a couple weeks ago and it was mainly just me um, at home working from home just taking you along the day with me and um, those of you that watched it seem to really enjoy it and ask for more vlogs but we thought it would be nice for you to see both our days <laughs> and also have a bit more movement because Matt obviously goes to the office and it's just like a different uh, you know different setting I guess 
All right, guys, so uh, out of the gym, uh, it's about eight o'clock. So I was in there about an hour and a half or so. Um, while I was in there, obviously drank lots of water. I've nearly done two liters already, so that's not too bad for the day. And then what I have now is on my way to work, I'll have this protein. It's not really a shake, it's clear protein from my protein. And this is the orange and mango flavor. And I love this protein, it's really, really good. So I'm gonna drink this on the way to work and then I have breakfast when I get to work. So let's get moving. Okay, just made my second coffee. I'm showered, back into cozies and the bun is out of control. I was like, what video was it? It was a last day in the life video when I was editing it and my bun was like bigger than my head on top of like wonky on top of my head. I was like, it's a good thing that I work from home sometimes because this is not a look. Um, anyway, it is nearly time for me to start work. And now I've got crazy hair. Um, I didn't wash my hair today. Uh, so I just had a quick body shower. Uh, I'm gonna sign on to work now. I'm not quite hungry yet, so I'm just gonna have my coffee and then I'll jump on when I've got my breakfast. Right, time for breakfast. So for my breakfast, in this little pot here, uh, what I've been having now for a couple of weeks, which I've really been enjoying, is basically some overnight oats. So in here, I've got 50 grams of porridge oats. Uh, I've got 15 grams of honey. Um, what else have I got? 10 grams of chocolate syrup. And what I do is I put them in the fridge overnight, so like overnight oats kind of vibe. And then when I get here, I pop them in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Uh, and actually they just go perfect. And I chop up a banana and I pop that on top. And that is my breakfast I've had every single day, work day anyway, every single work day for the last like three weeks. Here we go. It doesn't look, I mean, I'm not amazing at making breakfast look great, but very chocolatey. And then a nice big banana chopped up there as well. And of course, cup of coffee. So good, of course, coffee. Right, got to get started with the day. I'm working in the office, I work in the office with a couple of people actually, so it can sometimes get really busy here and sometimes it's really quiet. So who knows what the day will hold, but I will catch up with you guys, hopefully around lunchtime. If I get peckish, I'll check in. <sighs> okay, I've got my standard breakfast at the moment. Crumpets with Biscoff, and I've also got a bunch of black grapes in there. I think I said earlier, but we have run out of crunchy Biscoff. So it's just the smooth, and it's actually not Biscoff, it's the Aldi smooth like biscuit spread, which is basically the same thing. Um, I don't know what it is. Like it just does make a difference if it's crunchy or not, especially on crumpets, but shouldn't complain. Um, just got my coffee, water, and that's it really. I'm hoping that our my protein order arrives today because there's a bunch of snacks in that that I've ordered um, that I've not tried before for my protein. I think there's like a double brownie, um, ordered some wafer bars, which I actually have tried before. They're so good. I think that's my vegan and a few other bits I could drink in that. So hopefully if that comes today, I can show you what we ordered. Um, but that's it. Yeah, I just, I have breakfast at my desk. Um, exactly the same basically as the other day in the live video that I filmed the other week. Just gonna get on with work now and I'll catch up with you guys once I'm having my snack or my lunch. Okay, uh, my protein order arrived and I just started opening it but I remembered that I said I would show you what we got. So, my protein order just arrived. I already put one of these in the fridge because I already fancy one and this is actually a little bit warm. Um, these are vegan protein water, sparkling mixed berry flavor. I got some BCAA, this is raspberry lemon flavor. I have tried this as well. I personally have this after I go to the gym. And then we've got, Matt got some Thermo Pure. I don't think, well, he's definitely not had these before. So he's got them. He's also got some creatine monohydrate unflavored. I remember my sister 
used to have this quite a lot. I've never tried creatine, um, but he's been looking into some bits and he thought he would try it, so we just got a small bag. Matt is also trying this new clear protein, lemon iced tea flavor. Then I got some flavor drops, obviously. I got chocolate peanut butter flavor, which was my OG choice. I used to only ever get this. And then once when I went to order, they didn't have any. Um, am I shouting? I just realized I've got my headphones in, so I couldn't really hear myself. Oh, I'm so sorry if I've been shouting the whole time. So yeah, I used to always get chocolate peanut butter flavor, use it in my coffee, use it in my oats, use it in hot chocolate, use it in everything. Uh, and then I went to order one day and they'd ran out. So I was like, what do I do? So I went for hazelnut flavor and it took me a little while to warm to it, but now I have that in my coffee every morning. Um, and now I have both. And then we have this, which I'm very excited about. Double dough brownie. I mean, come on. Oh, okay. It's sort of like, I'd say, Small, but you know, chunky, a little square. And this is the last thing that we've got. My vegan coated crispy wafers. And these are so, so good. So that is our little order. And I reckon this double dough brownie chopped chip flavor is gonna be my mid morning snack. So I'll let you guys know what I think. I have another meeting in a couple of hours. So I'm just gonna catch up with things I need to do in between then and then I'll catch you guys up when I have my snack. Okay, so lunchtime. I've moved office uh, because there's no one in here so we can have some lunch. Right, we've got leftover from what we cooked last night, gusto. It doesn't look amazing, I'm gonna warn you, <laughs> but it, I know it tastes good. This is sweet chili fish, this is bassa. This is a gusto meal that we cooked last night. Uh, I've got some ginger rice and some pak choy and garlic in there as well. So that's the main event. And then alongside that, we've got some lentil curls from Audi um, and a throwback pepperami. Just two little like lunchbox pepperami sticks and alongside a Pepsi Max. God, like just natural reaction to say Pepsi Max. Alongside a LucasAid Zero. Um, I saw this in Morrison's this morning and I thought, oh, do you know what, I fancy that today. So yeah, I'm gonna just chill here for a little bit, watch something on the old iPad. Um, and enjoy lunch. This is one of our favorite goose meals I think we've had so far. We loved it last night and it's still good today. I'm gonna open these now actually. Sweet chili, sweet chili, why not? All done. Obviously, he was never going to leave any of that. I'm going to finish off with a couple of these bad boys. That's kind of it down with lunch, but I'm going to, am going to have a couple of these. Snack jacks, the smooth caramel flavor. These are really good, and I think they're just quite like light and sweet, and they just got a nice bit of crunch to them. Done with lunch, there we go. Um, pretty standard lunch for me to be honest with you. That, I, that would vary depending on what we cooked the night before, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, obviously it's Valentine's Day, so we are gonna be having sushi tonight. So I'm already just buzzing for sushi and curry and all the goodness that's involved with that. So yeah, we'll see how the afternoon goes, but that is lunch. Um, I will catch up with you guys in the afternoon at some point or maybe when I'm headed home. God, I'm so bad at this. I keep eating things and I forget to turn the camera on. So I've just been eating this brownie. Oh, there's some of it goes. I have to say, I think this is one of my favorite things that they've come out with snack wise from my protein, from my vegan, sorry. Look at that. I can't explain, you know, cause, it, cause it's quite chunky. It's got a bit of like, like a bite to it. It's so good. Right. Gonna warm up my lunch. I've got leftover pasta bake. So we've been having a gusto for four people. Like we've been doing four servings so that we can have leftovers the next day. Um, but that one's actually from a couple days ago. We just had a huge pasta bake and I went out for dinner so I didn't have my portion. So I've got that left over. Just a three cheese veg pasta bake. There we go. And I'm gonna eat it right out of the Tupperware. Saves a bowl, doesn't it? 
I mean, I can show you, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look that great, but it tastes much better than it looks. You can just see there. Mm -hmm. Pasta is so good, isn't it? Too good. You just got tomato, courgette, I think that's it. Pasta, cheese, sauce. Yeah, that's my lunch. I'm having one of these. That's good. I fancied a, a fizzy. And I think I said earlier, this is vegan protein water, sparkling mixed berry flavour. I think they've also got a lemon and lime one, which I've not tried yet, but I have had this a few times. Um, and it's, it's just nice to have it in the fridge or just have it on hand, especially because I drink a lot of water. Like I make sure to drink my water when I fancy something a little bit different. Um, I'm going for one of these. Well, saying that, I've not had them in blooming ages, but if it's there, I'll definitely go for it. Okay, guys, done with work. Uh, it's about 20 to 5, so I'm going to head home now. It's Valentine's Day, uh, and sushi is on the card, so I'm buzzing for it. I didn't eat anything else uh, since lunch, but someone did bring me a cup of coffee. Uh, but I was in a meeting at the time, so I couldn't film it, but just had a cup of coffee. Uh, I've got uh, some flowers, you can see there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to head home now. Just sorting out your flowers. Yeah, thank you so much. How was your day filming? Yeah, it was good. It was since Valentine's Day. Yeah, I said, oh, yeah, right. yeah. We're looking very glamorous for Valentine's oh, Day. Of course you are. Doing my slippers. You looking forward to sushi? Yes, very much so. I've been saying all day that I can't wait. So I, I bought Emma an, an extra Valentine's gift. Some heart-shaped... Krispy Kremes. I thought I'd get the sherbet one so we can try them. Yeah. And then obviously get your favourite, the Biscoff, Biscoff one. Biscoff one. Sushi order is in. Are you excited? I am. It's our first Valentine's in our flat. I know, yeah. This place does really good sushi. We've had it from there one time before, so I'm excited for it. So we're just going to have a real chilled one. We've got donuts for dessert. Courtesy of you. We've got sushi. Got the goods. Jeez. Big old bag of sushi. We do have our sort of regular order, but we've mixed it up a little bit today as we well. Have. So let, let's show you what we've got. We've got some tofu nigiri. Never tried that before, no. actually. That's new. Then what we've got here? Combination, we've got some prawn tempura uramaki. Um, and then we've got cucumber rolls and tofu rolls. Mm -hmm. And then try this for the first time. This is Japanese fried chicken. Mm -hmm. And we've got edamame, edamame beans. And... Mm, mm, mm. A big old katsu curry. Okay. Just some soy sauce. I'm going to earn your soy sauce on my cake. Wow. <laughs> Did it go in your mouth? Yeah. Ugh. I was asking for that. There you go. Decent sized roll. Yeah. Dip in some soy sauce. It's going to be a big bite. I'm going. Do it. Going in one. Jeez. Not mucking around. Mm. Oh, good. So we're going to make our way through this and uh, watch either Love is Blind or a film. Not sure yet. Yeah. We'll see. Something romantic. <laughs> Love and edamame. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy belated Valentine's Day to you all. I just hope you had a... Wonderful start to the week in general, I guess. We, this is a complete tangent, but we didn't film it all this weekend. We had a full on weekend. We did. Yesterday, we met two brand new babies, didn't we? We did, it was a baby weekend. We had a full on baby weekend. My cousin had a beautiful baby girl a week early. I went to go see one of our closest friends, little girl, who was 11 days old as well. And it just worked out that we were, were always planned to meet little Arabella, my friend's baby. And then because my cousin was early in labour, we had to go pick up my little niece Lily that night and have her here staying because she was having a home birth. It was quite the weekend. And then we dropped her off and then we met 
little Ottilie, little baby girl. So, yeah, that's not really relevant at all, but that's just another reason why we didn't want to go out tonight because we just had such a full on weekend. What I like about this catchy curry is that there's loads of sauce. Mm. Sometimes, like, most places we go, they give it to you separate, don't they? Yeah. Like, that they give you the sauce separate. Can't beat a katsu curry. Mm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Good. Delicious. How would you say that rates compared to Wagga's, Wagga Mama's? I prefer curries like this than I do Wagga Do you? Curry. Right. Tofu, nigiri, ready? In you go. Mm. It's just like, you know, we get the tofu inside. Yeah. It's exactly the same. Okay, I'll try. Nice, right? It's got a sweetness to it. Yeah, it has. I believe it's fried tofu. Yeah. Is that right? That's right, yeah. Fried tofu. And we often get it in sushi like this. We often get it like that. But we've never tried it like no. the nigiri, so that's really nice. Like, oh, wow. You like what you like, right? And then, you know, figured I should just mm. get that out there. Right this sauce like is better than Wagamama's yeah. sauce. Done. Sushi done. Tapped out the sushi. Out. It's really good, though. Really, really, really tasty. Good. We're going to let that settle, and then are we going to have Dana? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, <laughs> we are ready for some Valentine donuts. Is it Valentine's or Valentine's? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day donuts. It's time. quarter past eight and I'm so close to falling asleep. That's what happens though because we get up so early know, now. We're yeah. getting up at like five to go Half to the Half nine is bedtime. 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have this chill for a bit mm. and then go to bed. Yeah. Wild night. <laughs> Crazy one. Picked up these bad boys today for Emma. Uh, we've got the so all their crispy, all their donuts are shaped as hearts at the moment because you know why not? You got the Biscoff one, strawberry sherbet one, and orange sherbet one. Mm. I know that you probably won't like either of those so much, <laughs> but I thought try them anyway, and I know you'll like that one. I was planning to have this one. Of course you are. Happy Valentine's Day. It's actually been a little while since we had some Krispy Kremes. Contrary to popular belief, we don't eat donuts every day. <laughs> I've got no filling in that bite. Really? That's with, with it being love heart shaped like that. Oh, I see it. It's there. You got it. <clears throat> Hunt it down. Give me a sec. I'm going right back in. <laughs> How's that then? Mm -hmm. Yummy. That's love right there. Try the strawberry one. Did we try these last year? I feel like we did, right? We definitely tried some of their donuts. Are they the same as last year? I think so. This oh. one's got strawberry jam and sherbet in. I think I remember rightly. Oh, you I like quite enjoyed ones, these ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have such big bites that literally Krispy Kremes take like two of your bites though. There's strawberry jam in there and there's like some fizzy sherbet filling. Mm. So good. Very nice. Oh no. Messy. Oh dear. Well, should we just call it there? Because we're just mm. going to finish these up and then... Oh, it's in my hair and everything. We will just call it there for now. Hope you enjoyed our day in the life, what we eat in a day on Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. But... We'll leave it there, shall we? Yeah, we'll obviously be back with a slightly different video sometime soon, guys. Thank you for joining us on the day. Um, yeah, and we will see you in the next video very, very soon.